Do you love tiered trays, but you say, you know, I just haven't bought one. I don't have room for one. I don't want all the stuff that goes on it. Well, in today's video, we're going to simplify everything. And I'm going to show you how to do displays in trays, cake stands, bowls, cloches, and domes, even cups. This stuff's really easy, and I bet you have most of the stuff on hand. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. And you know I'm 71, and I just say it because if I can do these things, I know you can do them too at any age. I want to thank all my lovely subscribers. I appreciate you watching and commenting and just all the encouragement you give me just means so much. It really touches my heart. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. You don't want to miss any of these Countdown to Christmas or Christmas videos. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up so I know you do. So we are going to take a lot of different bases and little items and we're going to make kind of little displays or dioramas on these objects and you can cover them with a cloche or a dome if you want to but then i'm going to show you how you can take that thing you made and put it into another display in other words on a larger tray with some greens and candles and then put your little display on there everybody has room for that even a coffee cup Okay. So without further ado, I want to show you everything I made. I had such a ball with this. I might do it seasonally. I don't know yet, but I'll have to hear your feedback if you'd like to see some of the simpler one-tiered trays, so to say. Anyway, I hope you love this. I hope you get totally inspired and dig out some of your things as you're decorating and put together one of these adorable little displays. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. You all, you don't have a tiered tray? Guess what? You don't need a tiered tray. I cannot tell you how much fun I had picking stuff up around my kitchen and around my house and doing displays in them. I might not do another tiered tray as long as I live. I'm just kidding. But I had so much fun. I cannot tell you. And I guarantee that all of you would have one of these items in your house that you can do a display in and put in your kitchen, put on your coffee table. By the way, stay till the end because I'm going to show you how to style some of these things, okay? All right, so we have buckets, we have cake stands, we have hurricanes, we have bowls, we have cloches and cups. You can make them as big or small. You can even take some of the smaller things and put them on a tear tray if you wanted to. I, I just, I just had so much fun. I can't tell you. It was just like playing with toys. Let's start over with Minnie Mouse. I mean, this is one of the cutest things I think I've ever put together. Now, Minnie helped me because she said, I want to be in charge of the one with candy and I want to bring my little reindeer. So I took a Dollar Tree galvanized firewood bucket, one sprig of greenery, my rolling pin, some wooden spoons, uh, and then I have a couple of these red and white suckers that match her little outfit and then her little pet reindeer, which was a ornament from Walmart last year. And, you know, she was an ornament from Hobby Lobby last year. They don't have them, I don't think. How cute. In a kitchen, on a shelf, on an island, on, on your counter. I just love this. This one here is one of my cake stands. I have quite a few, but I just plopped this house and these bottle brush trees on there. I didn't even put snow on it or anything. Look how adorable. You could add some fairy lights. Here's one. Now, for filler, I did use like pom-poms here. I used Epsom salts. I use fake snow and Excelsior in some of these. Here is my one of my glass lanterns, Epsom salts, and I just put my house from Walmart in there. That's it. And you can put fairy lights in there. You can add more trees, whatever you want to add. It's so cute. You know my little white chick from Hobby Lobby. Anyway, she's sitting in a bed of greenery in a little bowl with black with white polka dots. I have a set of three of these. And I added some little berries. And look how sweet she is. If you love country French, how cute is that? 
Over here, I have, took a small cake stand and a cloche, and I just put one of the Dollar Tree snowmen in here with a bottle brush tree. So you could add peppermints in here and pine cones and more greenery. You could just go to town. If you're gonna do the cloche, I recommend doing a little white base that you could temporarily glue these things to so they stay upright. But look, here's some of the things you can add. Bottle brush trees, little animals, houses. Do you have a village? Are you using all the people from your village? Put them in a little bowl or cloche or lantern. How cute on a table. All right, here's one of the other bowls from the set, and I love this. I just took one bottle brush tree. This is an ornament, a hanging ornament. I just took the hook off from Walmart this year, and the little dough is actually on a little log, but I submerged that in the faux snow and added pine cones. How cute. And if you do a tear tray or just have a cake stand, how cute would that be on it with some more trees and other things? So there's so much you can do. Here's my other snowman in a bowl, a plain old bowl from Walmart with three trees and him and then all his little pom-pom snowballs. And I just put him on a little cake stand. But again, you can put these anywhere. Elevate them. Put them on a stand. Put them on a cake stand. Put them on a tear tray. I love this one. This is my first one I did. My One of my dear friends gave me a set of these adorable big mugs with the pine cones on them. And I put in from a dear family member, gave me this little primitive snowman. All, I put in some greenery, excelsior, some peppermints from Hobby Lobby, a peppermint tree from Walmart, and these are Dollar Tree candy canes. Oh, look how cute that is. You guys, I can't take it. <laughs> you are going to have so much fun, I guarantee you. Now, here's the simplest one and the smallest one. One bottle brush tree, some snow, and two adorable little deer. This is daddy and mama here with some pine cones. How cute would that be on a tear tray? Or just get your cake stand and put some of your cookie cutters on it and put this on it. Anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to show you now a couple ways you can style these in your home decor. Let's take a look. Okay, here's my first little cup and I just put it right in this little display that I have with candy and peppermints and all of that. Let's see what else I did. I put uh, Minnie Mouse over here in my corner with the gingerbread house. Look how adorable with my other galvanized things. So cute, I have more to show you. This is the corner of my kitchen where I do my display every year. I used to set up a big village here, but instead I have my cake stand. Now I didn't show you this before. With one house, snow, little um, uh, stone walls, and people. See the little couple sitting there? My husband and I got that when we first got married. And there's Santa and Mrs. Claus. And then over here, I added my little deer in the bowl. And over here, because I have my white rooster here, I added my white rooster in her bowl. And I think it looks so adorable. I prefer this because if I want to clean, I just move the greenery and pull it out and I can clean my counter. Okay, I have a couple more things to show you. Here's a right over my stove and I just put one of my bowls with the little pom-poms and snowmen and bottle brush trees in it. So cute. Now here's on top of my oven and I had just room for the little bowl with the little deer in it with my gingerbread houses. Now let's see how I can style something for the coffee table. Okay, so here I took a basket. You can use a tray, anything you have. I put in a jug with a faux tree in it. I just laid a tree across here, pine cones, jingle bells, antlers. And then I put in my clear cake stand with a little um, cabin on it. Or if you wanna do a gingerbread house instead, look how cute that looks. I have one more to show you on my mantle. Now, I added the little other house I have on my mantle. Look how cute. It'd be really cute to do a little uh, wreath around the base of it. But again, that's one house and bottle brush trees along with my other trees. All right, I hope you love this as much as I did. 
I think you're gonna have so much fun putting together these little displays. And I'm gonna see you in the next Countdown to Christmas video. Can't wait. Bye.